Well, if the weather isn't enough to get you in the fall mood, this setup will definitely do it for you. The annual plant festival presented by the Greenville Council of Gardens is happening next weekend. Chris and Linda join us to tell us more about the big event. Good to see you, ladies. Hi. Good morning. Our Good morning. studio has never looked more colorful. Thank you so much for giving us those fall vibes. Oh, and it smells, so, it smells so good. Me too. Lots of we sweet love treats. It. So tell us a little bit about the, the council and how you guys came up with this plant festival. It sounds like a good time. We have lots of green thumbs in our community mm -hmm. and people wanting to give back. Yes. Um, well, the Greenbelt Council of Garden Clubs was founded back in about 1976, and it comprises 14 garden clubs in Greenville. But the main purpose of the council is to um, house, restore, um, and keep open the historic Kilgore Lewis House. So all the proceeds that we're going to have from the plant sales goes towards the preservation of that home. Yeah, talk and about that home too because a lot of people mm -hmm. may have known the name, but it, it is a historic home and, it, and I, we always love being able to preserve these historic places that exactly. need a lot of work, need a lot of attention, need a lot of resources. That's correct. Um, it was built back in 1838 and it was um, the home of Josiah Kilgore and then as the generations moved on, the women married into the Lewis family. So it became the Kilgore Lewis. Um, it was in big disrepair when the Garden Council acquired it. Um, we had to move it, we had to restore it, and we had to keep it open to the public. That was the conditions in order to get the house. Mm -hmm. And it sits over off of 560 North Academy Street. And we do all sorts of fundraisers, again, for the funds that go right back into that house. And many, many people for the longest time didn't really know what that house was for. Right. But we are, we've really, in the last couple of years, have really put the word out mm -hmm. through the news media that this house is there. Come in and see it. People can still come in and see that house. And it is the last historic house in Greenville that people can get into. Wow. The other wonderful thing about it, um, as Chris mentioned, the historic piece of the home, but it's also on a five, a little over five acre lot of land that was given um, to the club in order to, we have about 330 women and they all put together a beautiful arboretum. It's um, been accredited and we're just so proud. In, in 2019 it was accredited and um, I mean we have a natural preserve pretty mm -hmm. much, uh, wildlife preserve. There's a butterfly garden. Um, we have some woody plants and we're really into preserving the trees um, of, of this five acre it takes um, a lot, lot of work it <laughs> does it does it does yeah so tell us about the actual uh, plant fall festival and wh what we can expect and what will go on well it's coming up as you, we mentioned um, October the 8th mm -hmm. um, Saturday and it will be from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, at our location at the Kilgore Lewis House on um, 560 North Academy uh, Street. And we pretty much, um, our biggest um, proceeds or things that we're wanting to sell that day will be our plants. And a lot of them we have cultivated ourselves mm -hmm. um, along with the bake sale. And um, then we have some other vendors that will be joining us that day. We'll have a food truck, everything egg roll will be there. Oh, um, fun. Oh. That sounds so like our we're, we're excited. <laughs> we're hoping for a good day, but we'll be there rain or shine, and um, we're hoping a lot of people will come out and join us. And like you said, the, all the proceeds go back to make sure that the house is able to stay open and stay exactly. in, you know, in good condition. So people will be able to buy plants, bake goods, get the food truck, and just exactly. really have a good time probably. Maybe yes. learning more about the club if they want, or the council, if they want to join that as well. That's right. Uh, there's 14 different garden clubs that people can consider. Um, and the, the beautiful thing is that these are the plants from the gardens of the members. So they're not only extremely healthy, but in today's environment of high inflation, these are affordable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and they will be some of the best plants you will ever buy. <laughs> I love this. Do you need to have a ticket or anything to no. get there? Just no. show up? Just show yeah, up. you can. Or yeah. if you want more information, you can go on our website and it will give you the time and the date, which is, um, again, it's going to be next Saturday. And we are, we're bringing in um, other vendors to make this more of a fall festival. We've been on a three-year hiatus due to the pandemic mm -hmm. and safety concerns, but we are now back out in full force, I think, as everybody is right now. Yes. And we will, um, again, we've shaken it up a little bit to not just be plants, but we've added incredible baked goods, mm -hmm. some of our beautiful vendors, our pottery, a lady who makes gourds. We're going to have someone who sells jewelry, another man who makes um, guitars out of cigar boxes. Yes. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> so very interesting, unusual, handmade things. <laughs> well, we're excited. That is next yeah. weekend. Thank you so much, ladies. Absolutely. Tell us about this. Next Welcome. Saturday, 10 and 3. So definitely go check that out yeah. at the Kilgore Lewis House.